I was drawn to uh, epilepsy really from the beginning in my interest in neurology. I found uh, the epilepsy patients to be extremely interesting patients. I was captivated by the stories that they told me about their experience and I wanted to do something about it. Uh, it's an extremely gratifying field because we have effective treatments and yet there are still things that have not been figured out which is one of the exciting things about neurology in, a gen in general, is that there's still so much more to be learned, so much more that we can contribute, uh, but at the same time, there's enough that we know that we truly can help patients. My area of specialty interest is epilepsy, and my focus uh, within epilepsy is to try to focus on the patient as a whole uh, to optimize their quality of life. Uh, our top priority first is to try to get our patients complete seizure freedom with no side effects. Uh, in order to do that, we need to uh, work as a multidisciplinary team. Uh, nobody has all of the expertise that is needed to optimally take care of a patient with epilepsy. We need to bring together nurses, physicians, psychologists, imaging specialists, uh, technologists, and a wide array of people with a diverse uh, expertise in order to best take care of a patient. Here we work in a multidisciplinary team and our goal really is on quality of life and trying to get the patients the best possible out the outcome they can so that their life is not limited by their epilepsy. I attended university and medical school at Wake Forest University and then I pursued my residency training in Baltimore at the University of Maryland. My fellowship training was at the Cleveland Clinic where I spent two years working in epilepsy and epilepsy surgery evaluation. Uh, I joined the faculty at the University of Michigan in 1998 and was on faculty there for nine and a half years until I came to MUSC. Here at MUSC, we're trying to not only take advantage of the best treatments that are available right now, but we are looking to the future to try to find new treatments and new ways of better taking care of patients. That really is what changing what's possible is all about.